Now, this story you're about to see is as close as you want to get to a classic Bay Area shooting. There's so much beauty lying just beneath the surface. But we are so conditioned to see the negative and the fear that we're losing who we are. But it's right there. It's right there. The United States is now among developed nations, post-industrial nations, the most unequal by far in terms of income, wealth, and opportunity. The trouble is that on all of these scales, we're moving in the wrong direction. And we are modeling a society that cares only about personal economic well-being, not about social well-being. We see it in the divesting of, of urban centers, that, you know, that people who have lived here for decades in Oakland, in uh, Watts, in Newark, in Dallas, in uh, New Orleans, don't get the investment, the resources, and the opportunities that we would want for everybody in this country. You don't have to come into West Oakland and tell us that the economic system's not working. We know it's not working. Uh, you don't have to tell us that we're doing something wrong with the environment. I can barely breathe. I can tell you about the need for a different kind of economy that was built more on respect and dignity because I'm living at the expense of the one we got. That was a real turning point, I think, for many folks in our communities when we realized the extent to which our community has, had been used as a regional sacrifice zone to support the kind of lifestyles that other folks in our city wanted to live. So whereas you had communities like the South Bronx that were handling a disproportionate amount of the city's waste, and then you had areas like many parts of Manhattan that produced actually most of that waste, yet they weren't handling any of it. And it's kind of like, hmm, I guess, you know, in the broader scope of things, you know, one community is considered a lot more important than the other. Many, many years ago, I interviewed Desmond Tutu prior to the end of apartheid, about a year and a half before it ended. And he kept in the interview saying, when we end apartheid, and I kept thinking as, as I was listening to him, yeah, right, you know, like, dream on. I mean, I didn't want to, you know, rain on his parade or anything, but in my, in my heart of hearts, I thought, not in your lifetime. And lo and behold, a year and a half later, it was over. So it was really a profound lesson about what can happen when the will of people aligns together. So it, we're called upon to reconceptualize the relationship between issues of social and racial justice and issues of our economy. And one of the really important strategic locations for our thinking about this and acting on it is in the cities. Yeah. The Ella Baker Center's newest campaign, Soul of the City, is an optimistic, value-centered effort to create truly livable cities. It used to be the more passionate you were about the environment, the further away you got from working class people. Now, the more passionate you get about the environment, the closer you are to working class people. Because there's only so many light bulbs and bicycles you can buy. At a certain point, we've got to invest in these cities and turning them around. We're launching a hands-on, hands-together movement to transform Oakland into a community that is socially just, spiritually connected, and rooted in values of shared prosperity and sustainable ecology. It's easy to say, look, George Bush and oil companies, these other people, they got to do something different. When you start talking about uh, the people in our own communities, what's my commitment to that person, to their child? Suddenly, we're in the indictment. And we're seeing a whole new energy emerging as environmental movements are joining with economic justice and environmental justice and social justice movements. So we have a new convergence happening. I would call this a global justice movement, the likes of which we haven't seen on the planet before. This is going to be a hard hat and lunch bucket, sleeves rolled up, we can fix America, every color in the Skittles bag, every color in the rainbow standing together and doing the hard work of turning this thing around. And if we can take seriously this moment, we'll do something extraordinary. Together, we can reclaim our future by working toward a new vision and new solutions for our cities. Join us.
and help redefine the soul of the city. Niggas that we let the people decide, keeping it live. Brooklyn got the key to the ride, come on.